Ever wondered what it's like to have an office 100 meters in the sky, especially during a storm? It's a unique challenge. Meet Kieran, a wind turbine technician. Every dawn, he ascends a 300-foot metal ladder inside a towering wind turbine, far out in the North Sea. Today, the forecast is grim, 60 miles per hour gusts and relentless sideways rain are expected. This isn't just a job, it's a test of endurance. His boss straps him to a laptop-side platform, which then hoists him through swirling clouds higher into the heart of the turbine. His first critical task, opening a hatch no wider than a pizza box. It's a tight squeeze, requiring careful maneuvering. He squeezes out, his boots dangling precariously above the vast, churning expanse of the North Sea. The sheer drop is a constant reminder. Next, the crucial bolt check. One loose bolt could have catastrophic consequences, potentially leading to a 25,000 pound blade flying off. He methodically tightens 412 of them, each by hand, enduring biting sleet and relentless wind. It's a testament to his dedication. Then, the storm truly hits. The turbine automatically shuts down, its massive blades feathering to survive the onslaught. Kieran finds himself trapped inside a carbon fiber tube that now sways rhythmically, like a giant metronome, buffeted by powerful winds. He can't climb down, safety rules dictate the descent is forbidden when winds exceed 25 miles per hour. He's stuck, high above the raging sea. So, he opens his lunchbox, sticks it to the wall with gaffer tape, and eats a soggy tuna sandwich 30 stories above the ocean. After four long hours, the gusts finally drop to a manageable 19 miles per hour. The immediate danger has passed, and work can resume. He clips back into his safety gear, begins his descent, and wipes the salt from his goggles, the harsh conditions leaving their mark. As he reaches the base, a breathtaking sight greets him, dolphins gracefully riding the turbine's wake, a beautiful reward for his perseverance. One shift, two storms, zero bolts lost. Enough green power generated that day to charge 1,100 electric cars. A truly impactful day's work. Would you spend half your week trapped in the sky for that incredible view and a cleaner planet? Tell me yes or no below. Stay connected. Thanks for watching Career Chronicles UK. We appreciate your support and interest in these vital roles.